if you want to look at the relationship between two different variables or two different outcomes and how they affect your results, a grouped bar chart can be a really good way to do this. So here I have the same social media followers data I have had before, but now I've labeled the data we've had previously as subscribers and I've added a new column for visitors. You might be able to tell these apart and get separate reports in your analytics software. But let's see how we can show each of these. And what's interesting is this is where Google Sheets gives us a few important alternatives. I'm just going to select this first cell here, come over to insert chart. And once again, it's nice that Google Sheets is smart enough to select the entire table of data and it gives it a good title. And what we have here is a side by side chart. Now I'm going to make just a few changes here. I'm going to put it again here by platform. And although in other examples, I've gotten rid of the legend, the legends important in this one, because you can see that blue means subscribers and red means visitors. On the other hand, with a vertical column chart like this, where things are side by side, having the legend off to the right isn't really helpful because you've got to go back and forth to look. So I'm going to click on this. And instead of having it on the right, I'm going to put it on the bottom. And now you can see that we have the blue on the left, the red on the right, and it's the same orientation as our other data. I'm going to get rid of this because it's just taking up space and we don't need that. And now it's a little bit closer. And then I am going to add one other thing. We don't have an vertical axis here. I'm going to add that one vertical axis title. And I'll put followers. Okay. And so this is a basic side by side chart. And what you can get from this is that we've got a lot of subscribers in Facebook, we've got more there than any other platform. And we've got a lot of visitors on Facebook, but also Instagram and a ton on Pinterest. By the way, this is totally made up data. But you see a different pattern on LinkedIn, where it's a small number, but we have more subscribers and visitors. Again, this is made up your situation may be completely different. But I want to show you two other ways of arranging a grouped bar chart that gives you different kinds of insight. Maybe you're not so concerned about whether a person's a visitor or a subscriber, but whether they simply come to your site and follow you at all. In that case, you can rearrange the chart by stacking the blue and the red. Here's how you would do it. I'm going to copy this chart and paste it here. I'm going to scroll, get this, drag it down a little bit, and then get it. So this is a simple copy of what we had before, but I'm going to double click on it. And this time I'm going to come to this option under data that says stacking. Right now it says none because things are right next to each other. They're not stacked at all. But if I do standard stacking, now it puts the one on top of the other. And you can still see that, you know, we've got more subscribers in Facebook than anything else. We've got a lot of visitors on Pinterest. But overall, you can see we're getting the most visits from Pinterest, the second most from Facebook, the third most from Instagram. And so you can combine them to get a total. This can be really, really helpful. And in this case, you might actually want to put the legend back on the right because you want to have things arranged top and bottom. And so now we have visitors on top subscribers. And that might be a better way to do it. Now there's one other option. And the deal is, it's hard to compare proportions with this one, you're able to look at absolute frequencies. But maybe you want to look at percentages of visitors who are subscribers versus regular visitors. And so we have one more option with a grouped bar chart, I'm going to copy this chart. paste it in. And I will bring it down here. We'll scroll up. I'm actually going to make a couple of changes on this one. The first thing I'm going to do, bring it up just a little more, is I'm actually going to change the chart type. Now right now it's a stacked column chart. But again, sometimes a bar chart, which is the horizontal left to right chart might be a better choice. What I'm going to do here first is I'm going to change the kind of stacking. Instead of standard, I'm going to go to what's called 100%, where it gives us not the frequencies of the counts, but the proportions of people. 
And now, for instance, you see that LinkedIn becomes huge in terms of the number of subscribers. If we go back to standard for a second, you can see that there's only a small number of people visiting from LinkedIn in my artificial data, but the proportion who are subscribers is huge compared to the others. And the proportion of subscribers is very small in my Pinterest data, just 10.2%. Now, I want to show you one other thing you can do. I'm going to delete this one. We don't need that at all. And I'm going to put a horizontal axis title to say proportions of followers. Because remember, 0.25 means 25%, 0.5 means 50%, and so on. I'm probably going to put the legend back on the bottom. And then I'm just going to change the colors because I can. I'm going to come in here and click on the red. And I'm going to change it to say, for instance, a gray here. Yeah, it's a little prettier to look at. But these are three variations on group bar charts, they're showing you both the platform a person's on, and they're showing you whether they're a subscriber or a visitor. And they give you different insights. One allows you to look at the absolute frequencies next to each other. The second one lets you look at the totals. And the third one lets you look at the proportions. All of them are valid. All of them give different perspectives on your data. And any of them can be used to help you plan what your next step should be in your social media campaign.